Have they peaked too early? Have they peaked too early? Spain have been the best team. Looking even looking at the first game and at the second game, Spain have been the best team. They've played the best football. They've looked the most cohesive. They took chemistry. The only thing Spain are missing are clinical. If Spain were more clinical, they'd win this 4-5-0. If not for Donnarumma, this would be a, at least a minimum of lubrication. A minimum of lubrication. Like Italy have to thank their captain Donnarumma that this wasn't a lot worse than it could have been, bro. Um, Nico Williams, man of the match. Superb. I mean, Rodri was amazing as well. Rodri was superb. And Rodri is dispelling the myth that guys out of the pep system can say what's up. But Nico Williams, every time this guy touches the ball, whether he goes left, whether he goes right, his ball control, his ability to find space, his decision making. Because the key thing of playing on the wing is when to dribble. What dribble do you do? When to pass? What pass do you make? Your timing of the pass. And also maintaining possession of the ball, not losing possession stupidly. So just everything he did was just freaking amazing. Yamal is 16. Again, it's all crazy that this guy is 16. Look at just how developed he is. Because let's be real, Yamal, he deserves to start. All he's just missing is he was inches away, inches away from getting um, initial these Euros. But Spain, they look, they just look absolutely so, so superb defensively, proper. But I think again, for Italy, Italy just didn't really have any answers for the extremely high press that Spain had. So I don't know whether it's a Spalletti thing or whether they're missing an Insigne, they're missing a Giovinco, they're missing specific technical players who are able to beat a press, dribble past guys, and be able to create um, space to now actually beat the press and also actually create a transition. Because you need those transitional players who put them under pressure, they can get past guys, they can see a pass the one sees, and they can now force a transition against a high press. But look, Spain were superb, but they were absolutely amazing and they dominated this game pretty much for the whole 90 minutes. I think they had like 16, 17 attempts they had on goal. So just all Spain are missing is a finisher. If Spain had a peak David Villa, they're Euro champs, easily. If they had a peak David Villa or a peak Raul, these guys are, nobody would stop them because the, the only the only criticism is they're not clinical enough. And I think them not being clinical enough, I think is going to be their undoing. But I don't know whether there's any team at these Euros who will be able to control or dominate a game better than Spain. So if a Dela Fuente, go to training and train these guys to be ruthless. Ruthless in front of goal. Whenever you have a chance, put up one in the net. And for Italy, look, they almost scored at the end and I think they didn't respond at well. But now for Italy, it's all about that Croatia game. Because now I think they really need to beat Croatia, get those six points, and now they can to now say what's because for Croatia, especially because they lost and they only won one point. So that's easy. Croatia game is going to be an amazing game because both teams are going to be looking to win, but specifically Croatia are aggressively going to chase that win. So that's going to be an amazing game. Spain should finish with nine points. And with Spain finishing with nine points, if there's a team you probably want to avoid as of right now, it's Spain. But if you're going to break it in front of goal like that, you ain't really no Euros, bro. But Spain, freaking superb. Easily the best team of the Euro so far. Like that vid, guys. Subscribe there. Join us for our post-match Euro 2024 hangout. Arrivederci.